gamers today we are back with conqueror ffa this time with eight elite gamers but there's always elite gamers maracita is here as well this is the last archipelago ffa we're having and we got actually probably the highest ranked lobby for conquerors that we have had obviously the the ones that i'm playing is like with the you know semi pros pros but this is the the highest ranked twitch conquer lobby we've gotten so i'm expecting mad skills today and with that being said this is round six i want to announce something this is round six of the free for all so you guys know or maybe you don't know uh i will be doing uh once we're done with the eight matches eight ffas eight winners we are going to be doing free for alls for eight winners from the gold league eight winners for the platinum league eight winners from diamond eight winners from conquer to find the elite the most elite gamers but we only have one match remaining and you're now thinking but bc that's six games how do we have one match remaining the last match of the free-for-alls will be a two versus two versus two versus two free-for-all and every league will have a different map so gold players and platinum players will not be playing the same map and i will not be announcing which maps they are going to be in advance how are the teams going to be done they're going to be random they're going to be random um if there's like gold ones and gold threes threes then i'm going to match gold one with a gold three if like there's four gold ones and gold threes other than that it's just going to be random and then whichever team wins the gold version, both of them will advance to the finals. There it is. I'm excited for that. And the maps that I've selected for those 2v2s, ooh, they're juicy, trust me. They are juicy. All right. Anyway, once we have gotten that out of the way, let me introduce the gamers in this FFA. We got Dragavan, which is actually the highest rated... Um, yeah, he is the highest rated player in the lobby. He's a Conqueror 3, like 1.7k, I think. We got over here Gully Duck, the yellow HRE. Over here, or Dick, sorry. Over here, we got the Teal English Dracus. In the right side, we got the Purple French Riptal DN. These, these mutts. In the green, we got Et Ramos, the Ottoman Chad. In the pink, we got the Rus Nanobu, Nadobu, sorry. Uh, in the orange, we got Up Acid, Judo. And last but not least, we got Reito, the blue Chinese gamer. Now, we've had two wonder victories so far. And this is a spicy sacred side right here. We've had two wonder victories in gold and plat and then in diamond there was uh, an actual full-on one-on-one at the end what are we gonna have in conquer i don't know we got two trade posts and a sacred side right here let's check the spawns did anyone get screwed up screwed over with the wood lines we've seen this happen blue got plenty orange got I mean, I would say a good amount, not plenty. Blue has more for sure. Pink, uh, plenty, I would say. That, that's a lot of wood. Green, uh, plenty, plenty. Purple mm, actually has a good amount too. I was going to say purple is the worst spawn, but I don't know about that. Teal, good amount. Not a crazy amount, but a good amount. And then yellow's got shitload. So actually, no one actually, no one got a bad spawn. Um, I think we, we've, especially in gold and plat, there was one game where three players had like almost no wood. And then the middle of the map, interesting enough, we have the smallest island we have had so far. This is a really tiny island, I feel like, compared to what we usually have. I don't know if I'm coping, but it seems really small. Like, the, there's not a lot of wood. And the sacred side, by the way, the second one is on the middle of the map on this tiny island. We've seen a couple of them in the corners. The landmarks are coming out and we see deer stones. No landmark for the Chinese gamer yet. Uh, we see 
Judo is aging up with the economic wing. Uh, okay. We see Nadobu with Golden Gate, of course, as you do. Sultan Hani Trade Network for the Ottoman French. Nothing yet, but School of Cavalry is coming out. And we see, okay, finally, this is what I've been saying. Finally, we see Abbey of Kings on the water map, which is the correct uh, landmark to go for. Another thing you can do, by the way, with English, you can go Council Hall, and then you can make like five longbows and drop them in the enemy base and like cause problems, right? But Abbey heals your ships at an insane rate, by the way. So, yeah. And we do see Chapel, last but not least. And Blue is already on the middle. Blue is already cooking. I don't know. Oh, he's probably going to Barbican on the middle. Where is he going to Barbican, though? I, I don't think a Barbican here is would, would be good. I think you Barbican, like, on Sacred Side or something. Because, this, like... Barbicaning here will give you vision, but it's gonna get destroyed after. I mean, okay, I don't mind it there. I think the best thing is that lighter on relic or sacred site. But this is fine too. You secure some wood line, so whatever. And um, I like pink spawn maybe the most, uh, by the way, out of all these gamers, because he's got these back fishes, which is really nice. And if he puts like one roost fishing ships each, that's gonna be a really nice eco. Uh, for him Meanwhile the other guys, uh, I mean everyone's just booming. This is not a lot of fishing ships for China Only 11 so far next to him is Mongol that has how many is this 19? so Dragoman definitely out pumping his uh, Neighbors quite a bit although yellow's got 20 here So yellow's got a good amount. I think he opened with double dock as well. So we'll see. I'm expecting these guys to... And, and uh, by the way, I think four players dropped scouts in the middle to scout what's going on. I'm expecting these guys to boom quite a bit. Because uh, Conqueror players know that early aggression is good. But also if you go early aggression and if you fail, you will lose to someone else later on. But you gotta find the right balance of like, you know, being greedy and, and actually... Um, having enough to defend yourself. Okay, Judo, this is why he went, I guess, for the economic wing. He's gonna make TCs in the middle, which I don't necessarily mind. Um, he should probably get naval arrow slits, though. Because if he gets that and then he does this, I don't mind it at all, but right now, no one's aggressive at all. We see Dracus. Looks like he's gonna become a little aggressive in yellow. But everyone else is playing really, really passive right now. But I'm also expecting some early age ups. Oh, there we go. Uh, because no one's making units, so early age ups make sense. Oh, oof, that was a. Oh, that did hit actually. Okay. Now, red aged up. He's got the step step read up, ready to go. He is. He's getting specialized pick improved. Okay. All right. Um, and that's level. No, it's level one. Okay, I thought it's level two as well. Um, so he should probably get his ships upgraded because that's kind of the most important thing. He's getting the the springled upgrade for the springled ships, which is nice. On the top side, we're gonna see purple and green maybe go at it. China is also second TC in the middle, by the way. So two players are going for the middle. Um, in the diamond one, we actually had no one go to the middle for like an hour, almost. No one even scouted it. How much does Abby heal? Six health every one second. Ooh. Ooh. And golly dick getting demolished over here. And by the way, uh, yeah, Abby heals six per second and he does work on ships. So hopefully he utilizes that. Purple is now in the middle. Purple is aging up. Golly Dick just aged up with the cathedral, of course. 
So people are just kind of poking, not fully committing to feudal, but poking a little bit uh, while aging up. And you can see teal committed for more units and early pressure. Yellow aged up faster, and that's going to cost him his whole fishing eco, which is why I said... You gotta be very careful to have like a balance of, of greed and units, because if you don't, then someone next to you is just gonna, you know, beat your ass. And now yellow is gonna lose everything on water. So now even though his castle, even if he upgrades his ships, I mean, what are you upgrading? You got nothing, right? But, because Teal is committed so much to water, Khan sees this, by the way. Because he's committed so much to water, Mongol can now come and scoop up the ships because he does have uh, both castle upgrades. So, yeah. Just a fiesta all around. Um, French here, chilling. Rus chilling with good amount of fishing boats. Golly dick with Imperial. Okay. I mean, I, I, I guess... It's not necessarily bad to do this, I guess, because what you can do is just, is HRE, you go Imperial, you go Swabia, and now he can Omega Boom on land. And when eventually he wants to break out, he can just make cauldrons and slowly push the enemies away, right? But, Mongol has chosen his victim, it's gonna be the Chinese Gamer, and Chinese Gamer is throwing a third TC, and he is still in Feudal. What is his resources looking like? Yeah. He needs a lot of gold, and he's going to be losing a lot, a lot, a lot of fishing ships right now. Mongol has piracy, by the way, so he's going to be getting resources for each ship killed, too. So he is farming right now. He is farming. A acid over here, aging up with the military wing next. I'm surprised he didn't go for a few more TCs. Grand Galley for the Ottoman. And Ottoman is getting pushed by French. Yellow's mopped up completely. And we're gonna have... Oh my god! Oh, if he doesn't move the villagers... Oh god, he's gonna lose so many. Okay, only two. So French cannot push this, by the way. These Grand Galleys are insanely strong. But he can also make Galley ass. And ass is coming. Judo, that's uh, Abbasid just aged up, and Judo's got a lot of army, but he needs to upgrade his stuff before he uh, engages into Mongol. Dude, look at these grand galleys. He can turn them into imperial schools actually, or military schools, but he is not at the moment. Oh, he didn't go for the. Uh, What's it called? He didn't go for the landmark that produces siege. And on this side, we got Abbasid versus Mongol now fighting. And Mongol is a bit all over. He's he's attacking blue and he's attacking orange. Blue gets completely mowed down. Bagla did get upgraded. They got 594 health. So they got 54 more health than uh, any other ship in the game because of the Abbasid unique upgrade pink is oof that's disgusting look at that pink is just chilling over here spaskaya tower coming pink is like super passive he's got like five fighting ships and no one's attacking him at all and uh blue is building more landmarks and now he's building rams so he's he plans to uh stay there on the bottom yellow yellow is trying to break out with Karax but I think it's too early I think you should just boom like just boom chill and make cauldrons later and push oh my god 16 demos hmm? French is losing water the grand galleys are owning right now Blue is in the middle. Orange got a big army. Mongol is going for yellow, but yellow is kind of already dead, so I'm not sure where he's going. Uh, 
English age dub. Everyone's age three. Some people are three. Eight people are age four. And uh, no one's out yet. I mean, French is looking in a pretty rough spot, to be honest. He's looking at, like in a pretty, pretty rough spot. Blue in the middle is ramming. He's probably gonna kill this. I don't. I don't think Orange can hold this if he just attacks. Yeah, there's Nest of Beast too. So that's looking rough. Did he? Did he try to steal a relic from Atari? I mean, Atari got that relic long time ago. That's pretty funny though. Look, he's trying. To, he's trying to find it. Uh, on this side we got demos chilling. Top French is gone. So now French needs to build siege to, to get out of this. It's gonna go. Okay, I like this. College of Artillery, I actually like this choice. I mentioned this in the last FFA. I don't think it's a bad choice. You can make culverins. Royal culverins do a lot of damage, and you can make royal cannons, which for this map is pretty good. Because the Red Palace is not gonna give you a lot of value. Like, obviously, Red Palace is always good. But you're not gonna like defend uh, a late game push with Red Palace. Like if they drop on your island, they're gonna drop with like 80 units. Anyway. Okay, he's going on a little scouting mission here. There are the culverins cleaning up. Orange is going to the middle. This is where they have to make land armies, by the way. Like you, you have to make actual units now. Okay, and okay, this is important. The Ottoman has found the button to turn his ships into military schools and you can see now they're producing units Which is really good because he can now just transport units in here and then drop them and eliminate Like going around like Yellow's Island is cool and all but if you don't kill him then it's kind of pointless and now Teal Did not manage to stop the docks the Carracks are coming out. He's making men-at-arms. I'm assuming he tried to kill yellow, but this is not working out right now. Purple loses a landmark. Uh, he, I mean, that should be in range of DC, no? I think it should be. I think it should be. And uh, the one player that has had zero interaction is pink. Legit zero. He did not fight at all. At all. He's just chilling the whole time. The units are unloading, but it's just spearmen. It's not it's a dark age spearman. Kick it up with. Abbey of Maymes is gonna go down. And it's gone. The landmarks are going down. Green reaches Imperial. That is Ot Omen. Oof, I'm not a big favor favor uh, of his uh, landmark choices. I think he should have gone for the other one because it, it increases the uh, the production speed of military schools. But maybe if he doesn't make military schools, wait, does the, does the other landmark? In Imperial, increase the production speed of ships? Probably not, right? Not actually sure, but probably not. Let's check the pink vision. I mean, he has scouted, but he is chilling. Ships don't get buffed? Okay. I mean, one keep ain't much, but he did put it here, so if he goes for a trade, his trade ships will get a little boost. Um... In movement speed because of uh, this thing yellow now with a lot of characters moving around purples trying to survive red oh now I don't know if you guys know but I, I like to call these budget fire lancers but if red were to get this upgrade additional torches improved you if you just spam horsemen you kind of have budget fire lancers and you can landmark snipe people quite easily and uh blue is having issues securing the island 
He's having issues at home. He's gonna lose everything. He's got no ships. Red got a shit ton of ships. And the only players that are not Imp are Teal, Orange, and Blue. I mean, Orange is in a, like, he has a big army in a good spot. Oh, okay, there we go. He just wait, went up with the Trade Wing. Which... I mean, I don't like the Eco Wing in his case. I think the Trade Wing is fine, because your ships also get the uh, upgrades. But I'm just not a big fan of uh, the Eco Wing, because you don't really get much. He, he got a TC cheaper. Culture Wing would have been a lot nicer. You save a lot more uh, resources and stuff. Oh, you don't you don't want to make keeps next to your water, by the way. Keeps do not. They they don't stay long, uh, alive very long. Oh, yo, he just lost 15 workers right there because they were stacked when they got out. That was something. He just got obliterated right there. Yo, Pink is Pink is uh, cooking right now. Pink comes out, attacks Orange, and Orange is about to demolish him. Okay, we got we got Archer ships. He's cooking. Let's see. Okay, demo's going down. Good micro. A Bagla 713 health. And uh, by the way, the Rus ships get an upgrade where they get cannon attack, so they don't have uh, Imperial ship their Lodia attack ships which are Springle ships get an upgrade I mean they're trading red is on the hunt he's coming in with a bunch of demos I don't know where he's going he looks like he's on a mission but I don't think he knows where he's going Oof. okay this is oh but he's got five cauldrons if he gets a jump on those and kills them he is fudged Oh, oh my god, the Cobrans are denting in the Great Bombards. Oh my god, see, this is why you go Royal, Royal, uh, what's it called? College of Artillery. He just dented him, dude. Here we go. Oh my god! Red is like, I found victims. Is he gonna go for it? Huh? Huh? Oh god. Not one hit. Not one hit. On the bottom, we see more action. Blue is just getting butchered right now. Blue is getting butchered on the middle too. Oh la la. He does have the lowest score. Teal? What is he trying to do? What is he... Is he cooking something? Where are his men at arms? Oh, he went with Windguard Palace. And he's gonna make the Rangers. Okay. Alright. He did get improved torch, by the way. Look at this now. Well, why are they torching so shit? 25 torch damage? You get like 50 horsemen and you two shotting landmarks. Like I said, budget uh, Fire Lancers. Purple is cooking. He's almost got 4k stone in the guild hall. He's still alive. Ottoman failed to kill him. And Ottoman is producing knights in all his ships. Should probably make stables and actually upgrade the knights as well. And here we go. Orange is going again. Pink went from not a, not fighting at all to now just purple. Oh, oh, brother. Oh la la, you gotta move your ships. Orange uh, has been microing your ships pretty well against demo ships. Pink on the other hand... Uh... Yeah. Yeah, not, not so much. And here come more demos. He, he can hit him on the... Just hit him on the keep. That, that's gonna be very unfortunate. More ho 43 horsemen now. I mean, he's gonna get eliminated on that island for sure. Look at that stables. Yellow. Uh, oh, yellow. Try to try to do something here. 
Not very successful, but he is trying. And he is now producing men at arms. Here are men at arms. So he's gonna try to fight Teal. So Teal and Yellow are going at it. Oh no, now Green is joining on the pink. Green tried to kill Purple and he's like, ah, fuck it, I can't do it. He's got culverins. And now he's gonna turn to pink. And now pink is getting banged by two players at the same time. And Green is gonna be unloading over here. Three great, three uh, bombards, by the way. And pink. I mean, he's got 24 units, but that's not that many. He really needs to upgrade his knights, though. I'm very surprised he didn't yet. He's upgrading biology even, but he's not upgrading the knights to elite knights. Or lancers, I guess. Purple is just chilling. Okay, Purple made a fishing ship so he can scout a bit. He's probably looking like, am I safe? Can I peek? Red's killing blue. Blue is dying to two players. Orange is killing pink. Green is killing pink. There's a lot of farms coming. Another keep over here. Oh, he, he got the stone out. Four and a half K. He took the stone out. And why is he not making workers here, by the way? He should be... Uh, we should be gathering a lot of stuff there. He picked up Bombards, he's destroying the docks, and all of a sudden, Pink went from a pretty juicy spot to... Well... You know how it is. This keep is gonna go down very quickly. Very, very quickly. Mongol is back with more horsemen. Oh, the keep is gone already. I mean, this is gonna be a cleanup. Does he have the upgrade for stone? He does. He has the improved upgrade for stone, so this is gonna be... Oh, 75 stone, 75 gold, 75 food. He's gonna be farming all these buildings. And, and if someone else gets eliminated, by the way, with Mongol, you can drop your horsemen in their base and just kill their neutral buildings and you still get stone. It's really good value. Oh la la, that's in range of the ships. Dude, blue just cannot catch a, a break from these guys. And China, who has been doing well in these FFAs on the water, looks like it might go down first. Oh god, now red from this side. Oh god. Oh god. Poor blue. He's getting dented at like three different locations. And here we go, the Siege of Yellow is started. I kind of like the Rangers, but he needs to get upgrades for them. He needs uh, incendiary arrows, which he does not have. These guys, by the way, nine tile range. But you really need incendiary arrows to boost their damage. He's made university now, but maybe a little bit too late. And now Teal and Blue are speedrunning. Who's gonna die first? That's the question now. Who will die first? And I think it might be Teal. These chatted arms are fully juiced up. They're fully upgraded. Elite army tactics, armor upgrades, damage upgrades. And uh, not looking good for Teal right now. Not looking good at all. And let's... If we go back, if you guys remember, Teal actually killed Yellow's whole fleet. But what did he do? He did not finish him off. He let him live. And now he's gonna die to him. Like, the moment he killed the fishing, he should have immediately, like, dropped... 10 villagers here and built archer ranges and, and like whatever, you know, barracks and just went for it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is he gonna get it? Okay! Okay, he's gonna live another day. Meanwhile, orange and red are now going at it. Bow Chats versus Xebek. 
They're just denting into each other. Ambassador has 100 more health on his ships, by the way. And uh-oh, he's back. Dude, that's so many units. He is back and he's unloading. Culverins are shooting. Oh, one of the military schools goes down with units. Dude, if he targets fire this ship, this is what he needs to kill. He needs to kill this transfer ship. That shit has bombers inside. But I'm telling you, he can't break him. Look at this. He literally just lost so much to just culverins. He can't break him. He should really get this, though. Look at this. These are Carracks. Oh, gone. And now... Uh-oh! 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 Red bamboozled the orange. And he yoinked his relic too. He bamboozled him. He was fighting on the land. And he's attempting a landmark snipe on the Abbasid. Abbasid... Oh god, he has no... Not even a one upgrade. He needs to repair, man. He needs to repair with everything. And I don't even know how that's gonna work. And we thought blue or teal might be the first ones to go out, but it might be orange. He's producing... Sp he's producing golems? They take almost twice his time to produce. I don't know if that's the right move. You gotta repair, brother. You gotta pull every worker you have. Because you're about to get eliminated. Over here, teal is managing. On the middle, blue is managing from orange. Because orange is pushing it, but now orange is dying. So blue is now recovering. He's repairing with everything, but the HP is going down. The HP is going down. And it's still going down. Oh, we s oh, oh, we s oh, 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 we s oh, Dude, you can see it's <laughs> Wow. Well, I can guarantee you nobody guessed that in the chat. I guarantee you there was not a single person that get, that guessed that in the chat. That orange is going to be the first, first one to go down. Kick W. As <laughs> 250 HP, that's just like TV. I didn't press him. I didn't press him. I'm just saying. I mean, green space is really small. I actually, I, I just looked at his base, I was like, did he lose his whole base? But his base is just tiny, for some reason. Not a lot of going, oh, he's gonna wall a lot of this, I like that. Wall over here, probably. I mean, they can do both. It's like almost the same amount of villagers. Oh, I like that, actually. It's a good move. Yoink. And look at the Mongol now. He is farming stone. He is farming. Oh my god, look at his resources. Look at his resources. Is he cooking already? Okay, he's, I like his style though. He's not cooking yet. But he can 100% go for a wonder. 100%. On this side, we got complete siege. Dracus, still no incendiary arrows. Oh, brother. No incendiary arrows is uh, a bit of a problem, if you will. A bit of a problem. Let's check the player resources. So, we checked the red and teal. Uh-oh. Pink is cooking right now. Green? Oof. Green does not have shite. Wait, why is he landing here? Does he... Huh? Bro, Pink, he's dead already. Uh... Yeah, Pink should have left the docks open. He could have traded from the corner to there. I mean, there's still some docks, but but yeah. Um, Gali Dick. 
I mean, he, he has been investing a lot of resources into killing, right? So he doesn't actually have um, a lot of st stocked up. Orange, I mean, he's, he's dead. Uh, pink, okay, I mean, he's got a decent amount. Golden Gate has 31 tickets, so he can actually buy into Wonder. So red can Wonder, uh, pink can Wonder. Where are these workers going? They're, these workers are cooking something right now. He's gonna send them to transport ships. I mean, he should go here. He can actually go on the two islands, I just realized, because he kind of killed two players. He can go and get their resources, which is a good move. Uh, oof. China? China is not even Imperial, by the way. That's rough. And going for the uh, Great Wall Gatehouse is probably a good move. Like, you need to survive, because he probably knows. He's kind of beaten up pretty bad. And then purple, last but not least. 4k stone in the bank. And he's got another 3.3k. And green is coming once more. There's a relic right there. You should probably... Oh, 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 run. Is purple gonna go for him again? Meanwhile, purple is dropping knights into green's base and he's killing his houses. He's like, it ain't much, but it's honest work. And pink is now killing red stuff. And that might make red very mad and get him to attack pink. <laughs> the culverins are coming again. Nine culverins, by the way. Nine. Look at this, look at this, look at this. And he's gonna get deflected again. Once again. He's getting pushed back. The culverins hold. Blue gets the middle. Green is just not reacting. Like he's he's losing so much stuff to, to these units. How many workers does Green have? 19? Oh brother. That is not good. He's got 19 workers. His army is 175 right now. Uh, yellow is trading. Okay, he's not getting a lot. He's getting 16 gold per trip. It ain't much, but it's honest work. Green is just not... I don't know. He's just not reacting. I mean, I guess he doesn't have resources to react with, but... He's gonna give up on purple. <laughs> He's like, I can't kill purple. I'll just go to someone else. Or a yellow is mining some gold here, as you do. Incendiary? Nope. I think he forgot he even has university. Yellow is capturing the sacred side, and he's gonna secure this to do a little bit of trading, as you do. Landmark goes down for green. And he just doesn't care, he just keeps going. He just keeps going. And now green and yellow are gonna fight. And yellow's got a big army, but I don't think yellow realizes that green has only ships. That's his whole army. 174 supply of ships. And he's got units in the ships as well, and yellow... He's gonna lose the whole trade, and it's a sad trade too. It's not like he's, it's not like he's gonna remake quickly. It's a pathetic trade, actually. And just like that, oh god, dude, he has so many trade ships. Oh god, he is getting completely dented in right now. What is Red doing? Red is sieging the middle, kind of. I want him to cook up a wonder. He's got 12,000. He's got 1,000 stone per minute. Can you guys. Can we just. Can we just appreciate that? Also, I don't know why he's not trading. He could be trading with um, the Abbasid docks. 
Even there's a dock here, like that's such a nice trade from here or maybe even here. Meanwhile. I mean, there's no way that he's gonna beat this army. But there's a very good chance that green's gonna get eliminated. And I'm pretty sure, like, purple is like, what the fuck's happening? Like, he's killed two of his landmarks with, like, eight knights. And yellow is losing, but golly dick is trying to hold on. Oh, one uh, military school or grand galley goes down. Like, Yellow is losing, but he's also replenishing his army immediately, so, you know. Wait. Wait. Wait, where the fuck are you? Oh god, I just realized what happened. Wait, Yellow deleted his workers? Because he was trading. So he deleted his workers. He's got 22 workers, and I'm pretty sure all of them are just made. So he deleted workers to make trade, and then uh, he immediately lost the whole trade. That's a bit unfortunate. And now he's producing galleys. And you know it ain't good when you're producing galleys 45 minutes into the game. Oh, wait. Is this for wonder or is this for uh, just to defend? If this is for wonder, he might get landmark sniped. Okay, green will get pushed back. Yellow with 80 supply. Green with 85. Or yellow has 84. Green's got 85. And this is third landmark going down. This is the last landmark for green. Green's now trading all the way here, and that's a decent trade. He's getting 70 gold per trip. I mean, that's pretty good. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. If he just drops, like, three siege workshops, he can just kill Green. Green is looking pretty, pretty dead right now. Springled emplacements are coming, and those are not going to be out in time, but he, he can defend this easily, right? I mean, these guys cannot kill towers, so he's going to defend this easily. No siege engineering, so unlucky. And now green's trade is getting dented in. Uh-oh. One hand cannoneer is in charge of making four ramps. Good luck. Blue, let's check. Dude, look at Blue making mass Springles. I mean, yeah. And these are Cockwork Springles. Dude, if I'm Blue, I just make pure Siege here. And just do nothing. Just ruin people's day. He's got... He's got a landmark right here for Vision. He sees nothing. He knows nothing. Okay, here we go. He's coming in hot. Wait, can she... Oh, oh my god. I was gonna say, can ships kill rams? Yes, they can. Yep. Just make two traps, dude. Or, or a cannon. That works, too. There was so much fighting, and now everyone's back to, like, chilling and steering for resources. Red and pink are going at it once again. They're fighting over here. Green and purple fighting over there. Yellow is back for that booty once again. But there are Springolds. And now that's a little bit of a problem. Red is still not cooking, by the way. I can't believe he's still not starting to wonder. He has so many units. Elite Keshex are not dropped off. Uh-oh. Two cannons. There are knights, though. And I think he's gonna shoot and then lose both cannons. Kick W.
Oh, wait a minute. If he shoots again, that's it, right? Oh, 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 oh. And green's the next to go out. Dude, Reito could go for a wonder. He could potentially buy stone slowly and go for a wonder. And that'd be funny as fuck. Uh-oh, uh-oh. 11 sprinkles, he's running directly into them. And he is gonna get, oh my god, he got mowed down. Five bow chats go down immediately. Never lucky. And yellow still can't kill Teal. This is so funny. He's been trying to kill him for so long and he just can't. It just it's just not happening, you know? Just not today. It's purple. I wonder if purple's gonna make a wonder. Like, he's got 12 royal cauldrons. He should take the relic, send all the workers here to chop wood. And then he should just go and uh, get gold somewhere. Like, just trade with a box or something. Because that's the only thing he needs to make a wonder. Pink resources? He can also make a wonder. Everyone can make a wonder in this game. Except Teal. Teal, Teal and Yellow cannot. But everyone else for sure can. This might be the most passive FFA we've had. Conquerors are confirmed to be the biggest campers in AoE 4. I think the Conquerors are like, maybe they tried the hardest, you know, so they're like trying to not make any bad decisions. And I think lower leagues either don't care as much, or maybe they're just like, ah, eh, fuck it, I'll just go here and see what happens. Okay, we do see a little trade happening. A little trading, okay. Wait, what landmark just got destroyed? Oh. He killed Wingar Palace. He's trying to landmark snipe him. Wait, he killed two landmarks. Yo, wait, hold up, hold up. Hold the phone. Okay, that's not going down. But if he kills that, this is gonna die very soon. And that's a landmark snipe, but uh oh, this is one of those men. Just as you're, like, trying to do something, someone else attacks you and beats you up. Just as Yellow lost all of his units to do this. He is now getting dented in and his trade is gonna go down again. And Yellow just cannot gully dick or duck. Cannot kill Teal. It's a no-no. Oh, look, he's got more units queued up to go burn the landmark. No, no. Not today. Guys. I think purple is cooking. Oh, relic. Docks are going down. Kashyx, elite Kashyx are in the middle. Another key when come next down. Big tournament. Right now you have Emp <coughs> Empire Wars going, but I'm not playing that. And then for me the next one is December 2nd. Yellow is down in the sh down in the shitter. He's got 84 supply. Ah, la la. And even he brings a shaman even to yoink his relic. It's happening. It's happening. The chef is making his meal. Is he gonna, is he gonna kill yellow though? Blue is dropping some veils. I mean, he needs to get some more resources, maybe. Yeah, he's kind of done on the middle. 
He's cleared up everything. And now we got the budget Fire Lancers and Keshix and Horsemen. He's gonna go for it. And uh, where are the men at arms? They're right here. Okay. Probably not gonna be a landmark snap, to be honest. He's got emergency repair. He's got a lot of units to defend. He should be fine. He should be fine. And we still got six players alive at the one hour mark. And not only alive, but they, they kind of have quite a bit. Yo, get that. Get that. Oh. Like six pretty... Uh, in pretty good standing, I would say. Dude, I'm just waiting for purple. I mean, he... Oh, he should definitely get Court Architects if he is doing this. If he is going for a Wonder, which it looks like he is. But Court Architects are pretty important uh, thing to have. A good skill to have. Which Mongol doesn't have either, by the way. Kick that way. He's burning some buildings. Torching some stuff. And I can't believe that Red didn't throw the Wonder, man. Look at his resources! Bro, you could have thrown a wonder and defended it easy fucking clap. And now, for some reason... I... I... I don't know why Teal just attacked purple. Huh? But he just lost his whole army, as you do. 60 horsemen now here. What does Pink have? Pink got enough for a wonder too, by the way. So Pink, Red, and Purple have enough for a wonder. What about Blue? Not quite. He's got a lot of resources, but not quite wonder. He is building a wonder. This wonder position, I mean, you can't build it anywhere else, right? But it's very close to the shoreline. No walls either. Five players against them. But... Are the people gonna actually move? Now that... That's the question. Are people actually gonna be like, Yo, he is a wonder, we should go attack him. You know what I mean? And red immediately moves back, so maybe red sees it. Let's see, what is the plan? Okay, pink is already moving. Okay, I, I mean, they're all moving, right? Red's moving, teal is moving, pink is moving, blue is... chilling. Fifteen culverns and pink is gonna attack, but he's got no land army. That's I mean, okay, he's got them here, but he's not actually attacking which uh... So Teal is now attacking Yellow for the first time. There's Wonder up. Yellow's got a big army, but a lot of it is Spearmen. Pink is... I mean, he's attacking with ships, but his army is back home. Red... Okay, Red is going. Blue... 
Blue doesn't give a fuck. What is Blue's army like? I mean, he's a lot of ships, but when you play against the Wonder, you don't. The ships are like the last thing you need because the opponent is never gonna have ships. Like, right? they might have one line of defense and ships, and then everything else is gonna be like the land army, right? So what you need is land units and not ships. And Blue's producing ships right now. Pink's got a lot of ships too. They need to get on his island and beat his ass. By the way, they can landmark snipe him, just uh, just to mention. He's got three landmarks right here, so they don't need to kill the wonder. They can just kill the landmarks. And uh, the Dentov continues, and I don't think that Teal is going to be able to break him. It ain't looking like it. It is not looking like it. Red is landing. Red's got big army, but again, army is cool on water, but you need land army. He's got 50 ish units, and that is way too many. <laughs> 15 culverins still. Mm hmm. Okay, blue. Oh my god, these guys are stented as hell. They're all just, but like, sending mass ships. That's it. The Wonder Tracker. Ten minutes. They haven't even started yet. They haven't even started. Teal. He's losing the ships. I mean, losing the ships may be uh, the best thing that can happen to them. Like, you need, they, they need to make actual units, like land units. Teal and yellow are basically out because they're denting against one another. So the only people that can actually kill purple are pink, red, and blue. And so far... Okay, there we see some movement. Horsemen and Streltsy. Okay, that's cool. That's okay. Blue is producing 33 bow chads. He's buying stone. He just bought stone. Blue just bought a lot of stone. Look, he just bought... Oh, God. Oh, teal is killing yellow. So, I mean... Okay. That, yeah, that's... I mean, that's nice, I guess, for teal. He gets his revenge. Yeah, guys, this is conquer. These guys are conquer rank. I'm just, I'm just saying. These are not, you know. They're, yeah. Here we go, Mongol with 64 Keshix right now. Twenty thousand stone. Wonder, eight minutes to go. Maybe he's trying to pull mo pull the teal to attack purple. I mean, yellow is dying for sure. There's a bombard here. There's a bunch of men at arms. What's yellow supply? Gully dick, fifty supply. Not looking good. Here we go. We got some drops coming in. Uh. Blue is like killing trade from from pink. And the wonder is taken. Okay, red's got a lot of units, so he might go for just a wonder sniper. Three culverins, four? Is he gonna get five? Five Colorins go down? Okay, that was pretty good damage right there. Pretty good stuff. Now, if there was more players to arrive and and kind of attack coordinated, that would be a really good move. But, golly dick, one landmark remaining. That's it, one. 
just a chapelle and he right clicks that bitch right away he right clicks that shit and he's going for it he's building a monastery he's like yo i'm gonna get that relic you know what i mean yeah boy i'm gonna get that gold you guys got that wonder right you guys are you guys are killing the wonder on the other side right because i'm gonna get this relic right here and I want to scoop it up over here, and then I'm gonna get income. You guys got the relic, right? Or the uh, the wonder, right? You guys are gonna, you don't need me, right? Six minutes, guys. You don't, you guys, you, you got the wonder, right? Imagine being purple, by the way, holding the wonder, and then just seeing uh, yellow getting eliminated. Okay, here we go. That's a lot of caches. He could snipe it. He's like, no. I mean... Obviously, he doesn't know, right? But he doesn't know if there's stone walls or not. But if you knew that there's no stone walls, I think you just right click on the wonder and, and, and hope you kill it. Blue is deciding to go back. Blue is like, I'm gonna make more bow chats. You guys got the wonder thing, right? You guys don't need me, right? He just destroyed a barracks. Why did you kill your barracks? Red's trying. Red is making units. He just destroyed all his bow chats. He's sending the transport ships back. Purple's confused as fuck. Oh my god, there it is. There's an army. Four minutes and 30 seconds soon. See, that's an army right there. Oh, well, he's got enough for wonder. Or had. I guess he could just sell food for gold. And blue? Bro, he ain't moving. He doesn't give a fuck. He's like, yo, you guys take care of it. I'm not, I'm trading, dude. Man, move your army the game is gonna end man what do you you got three minutes what do you do he's like farming and shit he's like yeah let me fucking play with my boogers and put some farms down hell yeah brother i'm gonna i'm gonna get to farming and i'm gonna get some i'm gonna chop some wood over here yeah i got my mom I'm gonna get there right what are you doing you gotta go You know what's funny? Before the game started, I said, guys, when you, like, if someone's making wonder, like, you gotta go for it. You know what I mean? Like, you, you cannot let, uh, you cannot be like, yo, other, this other guy is gonna kill it. Like, you gotta go for the wonder. Literally, AFK people. They, look at this. Teal, pink, are waiting for last moment to actually go with units, like with proper units. Like, like Red's been trying. This is like Red's fourth unload on the island.
I'm 99 percent sure that they they can like they can kill the the wonder with this army. Look at the armies, man. Imagine if pink landed here. Like, there's no way purple defends that. But they can landmark snipe his ass. They can just kill his landmarks. They're fighting the army. Oh god, he is getting melted in here. Okay, he's getting some farms over here. One minute. Dude, they can just kill the, the, the kill this. That's it. The game's over. If they just kill this, the game's over. Or the game's over. He's dead. Blue Wonder goes down. 40 seconds. 40 seconds. Just kill the landmark. 200 health. That's his last landmark. Right? Yeah, that's his last landmark. Okay, I will say we have had six players at the end and five players deserved that ending. Purple deserved to win. Purple deserved to win. Pink, blue. Oh, sorry. We had f five players total uh, uh, at the end. Four players uh, uh, got what they deserved. Purple deserved to win. Blue, pink, uh, and teal deserve to lose, and uh, one undeserving of losing was red. It is what it is. That's perma for these three guys. <laughs> yeah, I don't like the thing is I don't know why. Maybe they were like, "Yo, we'll kill purple, and you and I kill blue." You know, maybe, maybe that was their thought process or something like that, right? But, like, they had 12 minutes to kill Blue. Yeah, I don't know why Red never went Wonder, by the way. That is very confusing. Do you know how many towers you can upgrade with 20,000 stone? All right, well, it is what it is. Riftal D's Nuts gets the W. Congratulations. Uh, was dead pretty much whole game? Well, not dead, but he was, like, holding on and then ended up winning. Red with the most resources on three out of four things. You know, Drac Dracus did kill Gully Dick, so shout out, right? He 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 was getting attacked by him whole game and he did kill him in the end, so it's kinda revenge. And then military teal with the most kills. Uh second, we got uh purple. A lot of buildings destroyed. Actually, every player had a lot of kills to be honest. Like there was no no one with like 20 kills or something. That was, uh, that was something. That was something. Uh, thank you all for playing. Guys, remember, don't be, uh, don't be mean to players in the chat. You're going to get permad. Thank you. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. The next thing we're doing right now on Twitch is going to be, are you guys ready? We're about to do two versus two versus two on King of the Hill. If you're watching on YouTube, thanks so much for watching. If you're watching on Twitch, let's keep going.